Hey everybody, it's Richie with Two Toy Boys, and I am here again with Julie. Hello guys. And we are reviewing the 1985 game, Go For It! Woohoo! Go For It. Go For It by... Parker Brothers. Parker Brothers. And Julie was just remarking about the artwork here on the cover. Yes, the lady with the microphone looks like Princess Diana. And ironically, it's next to a postcard with... England. London. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that might be her. So we have the 80s girl in her exercise garb, tennis player, and some generic fast car. So. Yeah, that was the thing back then was to, that was like sports was really, it was a really huge. Big thing. Big thing. Yeah, it was the, the it. The it, the yeah. go, the it, and the go for it. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get the game opened up in just a second. Game board is opened up. Whoa, there's like fancy skiing at the top. Skiing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, you have, let's see here, folks. You have your skiing person. Oh, and it's all by month. You start in January. Okay, there's your car. We'll go. At the here. bottom left. January is where we start. So, neither Julie or I have ever played this. So, here is a bunch of, I guess, money. Some of these cards. Looks yeah. like this card, $6,000. Yeah, it looks there's stuff on the sides, like it's oh, ten thousand going places. Okay, so let's get all these parts out and organized, and we'll open up the instruction book. So Julie's looking over the instruction book, but what I'm thinking, it looks like you can choose different careers: fashion, medicine. Broadcasting, finance, high technology, publishing, sports, uh, let's see, advertising, acting, and music. And it looks like here, so for instance, if you were to choose music, it looks like you would start out as an instrument tuner. And then over the course of the game, it looks like you uh, up your rank or whatever and you make more money. So I, we've, we have the yellow, green, blue, and red cards all separated, as well as the news cards. News cards. Economy is looking up. You may buy any one or two cards from the tray. And then we have the money in there, and then some tokens. I don't know, the plastic pieces might not be... Might not be part of it. So I'm mm. going to do some research here. So Julie has chosen fashion as her career, and I've chosen sports. So she's going to start out as a fabric cutter, and I'm going to start out as a bench warmer. So we have to place our pieces around um, the month and day we were born. So she was born in mid-February, so she's there, and I was born in late October, and I'm the present there. In the middle here, it gives us four different options going places feeling good wheels and house and home and then you turn over the top three to put above here these clips correspond to where we are on the card here so obviously our clip will start here and then as we progress we'll go up and up hopefully so you start out with fifteen thousand dollars in purple bills and $5,000 in yellow bills. Not sure who the people are on there. Maybe they're famous rich people. Not sure. Joey thinks that it looks kind of like Chris Christopherson. I kind of think it looks like my friend Marcus. She meant this guy. Oh, she meant this guy. <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering. No. 
Okay, Julie, what's next? Okay, then it says, um, towards you, do you, you have to follow what you do after you roll. You're gonna roll, and you got eight, so you're gonna move. Well, you have to roll to see if you beat my eight. Oh. No. Oh, no. snake eyes. <laughs> Horrible Nicolas Cage movie. Sorry, Julie, I'm going first. Okay. Okay, so let me roll. <laughs> Six. So I started up here, and you have to move per um, for the day. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you have to do what it says. And I have to do what it says. So what does it, it say? It says, Big Spender, you may pay $200,000 and take the top card from each deck or pick up the news. So you also have to pick up the news anyway. Okay, so since I don't have $200,000 in the game or real life, I have to pick up the news. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the news, oh wait, we already knew this one because we talked about that one, so let's do this one. So the news is, economy looking up, ha, huh? same exact card, it's fate. You may buy any one or two cards from the tray. Okay, so now I get to pick which cards I'm going to buy. So I can buy two cards, so I can risk it by paying 10000 and hopefully getting something that's more expensive. Or I can buy something that is not expensive. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down, I'm going to risk 10000 So I guess we give these to the bank. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so I'll give, okay. give 10000 to the bank. And I'm going to buy this card, which is a swimming pool, worth 12000 So I save 2000 on a pool. And then I can buy another card. So I'm going to go ahead and spend, why not, 6000 on going places, okay, and I got Tahiti Beach for four thousand, so I lost two thousand. So it looks like I broke even on this one. <laughs> okay, now on your roll, mm -hmm. if you get the feeling good ten thousand and you go and you pay for it, you can roll again. You can roll the dice and what they call go for it. And if you get a six or higher, you can try to see if you could sort of trade up for anything to the left. It'll be the left column. So it'll be anything from the left of the column. Okay. So, so I just rolled again and I got, you got uh, a nine. nine. Yes. Okay. So you can pick anything from that roll of the wheel since you did feeling good. You can do so I could trade my swimming pool and for anything here on the left, I could either risk it or I could pick what I want. Exactly. Okay. I might as well just go ahead and pick the Corvette. Sweet, and then you have to replace the card with, yes. With a Corvette, all right. There you go. So where do I put the swimming pool card? You have to discard it. You okay. have to put it back. Or Discard. Yeah, there you go. Cool. So I could keep risking it, right? I could take this Corvette and I could risk it to get a house, but if I don't roll a six or higher, then I lose the Corvette. Yes, you basically lose everything. You might as well die. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm not going to roll six? But I'm going to go for it because that's what YouTubers do. We go for it. And what's you got it? it. You got a 10. Oh, my Love God. It. Five plus six is 11. Yes. <laughs> so I could pick any of these houses or I could pick the card that's over. Um, let's see. What do I want? How about a ski chalet? That way I can be in last Christmas by Wham. <laughs> there you go. Okay, and then let's flip this over. Oh, crap. I should have done that one. Oh, Look at that. 400,000. But see, I thought here it says 240,000. Is think, that the average? Yeah, I think house and home, 240. Oh, that's how much you have to pay to to buy that card. Yes. Crap. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> well, at least I have a ski chalet. I mean, that's pretty cool. A ski chalet... With a beach, somehow. I have no idea how those are combined, but yeah. it's a ski chalet on the beach. You could have had the Lucas Ranch, but you decided to go with the ski. I know. Okay, so it looks like it's your turn now? Yes. Okay. Okay, Julie, so go ahead and roll. Okay. Give it the dice. <laughs> oh my gosh! These dice are rigged. One, two... 
So what's it say for you to do? Uh, you may buy one house and home card from the tray. Or, I and don't... I also have to pick up the news. First, I'm going to pick up the news. Yeah, because I don't think you have 240 grand yet. A chance to go for it. Choose any one of your status cards and go for two additional cards within the same category. Roll six or more. Roll less than six. Well, but I don't have any, so... But well, you don't have any status cards yet, so do we just not listen to that one? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so do you want to buy anything? Um, I will buy... So she's risking it, feeling good. And it says tennis lessons uh, for four thousand dollars. What? What? Four thousand. Okay, you gonna go for it again? Um. Or are you gonna spend any money on anything else? Or are you gonna I'm risk going it? I'm going to try to go for it and okay. see if I can get something higher. Oh, thank God! Yeah, she got an eight. Yes. So now she gets to pick something um, on that left column. I'm going to get. I'm risky. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. And it says $30,000 for a Chevy. Oh, cool. That's really neat. 1957 Chevy. So, yeah. I'm going to discard that. And then I'm going to go for it again. Okay. She's discarding the going. Which card do you discard? Uh, the tennis one because I'm going for it and I took this one. Okay. So I'm going to go for it again. So you're going for a blue card. Yes, I need a six or higher. So you have to have a higher. six or higher to get a blue yes. card. <gasps> oh no, oh. I just lost the Chevy too. No, that's what you get, folks. Okay, everybody, you're really going to love us now because we just realized that these are just birthday markers. So you don't move those, so we're bad. We don't move those. We move this, and we share the moves. Yeah. So if this lands on a player's space... They either have to give up a status card, or they have to give you $5,000 if they don't have a status card. Happy birthday! But there's only two players, because nobody wants to play with me and Julie. So, I don't know that we'll be landing on each other very often. In order to win the game, a player has to say, I'm going for it! Then turn over your career card so that Go For It logo is face up. You must do this once the timepiece crosses Labor Day and everyone collects their salary. So I'll collect. Once you make this announcement, you are in the go for it round. This means that you must own three different values of status cards in each of the four categories by the time the timepiece crosses Labor Day again. Okay. So you have to own three out of the four cards. And if you don't, no, it passes. You have to own, yes, own three different values of status cards in each of the four categories. So you basically have 12 to... 12 cards. Yeah. And if you don't have 12 cards and it passes over... Um, if you fail to own the right combination of status cards in time, each player can take one status card from you, oh. beginning with the player on your left. It is not necessary to have the correct combination of status cards needed to win the game when you enter the go-for-it round. You may still collect status cards during this round as long as you have the correct combination. By the time you get to yeah, the end. Yeah, when you get to Labor Day. Labor Day. So, cool. Labor Day is Doomsday. Doomsday. All right, everybody. Well, that's go for it. Thought you might all enjoy seeing that. It looks like this will be a fun game. Yeah, today. it really does. It, it really does look fun. I actually might really want to play this. I think it's brutal, too. Very brutal, especially <laughs> if you can't roll higher than a six. <laughs> exactly. Okay, everybody. We'll see you next time on Two Toy Boys. Like, subscribe, and you'll see lots more crap on the video yeah. channel. Thanks. Bye. Uh, just real quick, as we were putting the game away, we noticed that on the box it says 1985. And on the instructions, where is it? Right here. 1986. So you'll uh, not have instructions for a whole year. So what do you do? You go, go for it. it.